What is up ladies and gents, Mike here and welcome back to Is It Worthy, where we break down underrated or weapons that just might slip under the meta of Destiny 2. Today, we talk Song of Justice 6, a powerful hotkey scout rifle from New Marner. So let's see if it's worthy. Alright guys, on to the perks. Intrinsic is high impact frame, slow firing, and high damage. Scopes, you got SC hollow, hot K hollow sights, medium zoom. Then you have LD washhog, which is your long zoom. Extended mags, this weapon has greatly increased magazine size and reloads much slower. Then next perk, armor piercing rounds. We all know this is, this is really nice. And final perk is auto reloading holster. This isn't the best perk, but it does serve a purpose. All right, let's talk about its applications in PVE. First thing I would like to mention, man, the single hit precision damage that comes from this rifle feels nice. Now we all know the Nameless Midnight with explosive payload is player's choice next to the Mita. So you have a decision to make. Do you want your damage split into two, one bullet damage, and the second being the explosive payload, which doesn't have damage drop off with being out of range. Song of Justice 6 having incredible range that Damage drop off is minimal, so pick your poison. With that aside, I will say Song of Justice looks dope. I do love the current time look of this rifle and the sound and feel of the weapon is nice as well. Auto loading holster isn't the greatest perk, but to give you an example how it could be effective, run the senior connect slot of course, and an energy weapon that is good at all ranges, like the FWC auto rifle, the number. It has nice range and with ricochet rounds and high impact reserves round out your arsenal. To wrap up the PVE section, I say it has my favor, and if you like this type of scout rifle, give it a try. Zone B lost. Zone C captured. Now to the part that matters. Let's break down the viability of this weapon compared to its biggest competition does not compute in the Crucible. Alright, let's go on to the perks before we break down the stat. Does not compute is another high impact frame scout rifle. Let's move on to the scopes. You have Red Dot 2 MOA. Rifle scope ST long zoom, and then you have the final scope rifle scope SSF another long zoom. Amended mag weapons magazine is built for a higher capacity and steady rounds, optimized for real hoil control and moving target, which is probably the coolest thing about this weapon. Increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Now onto the numbers game. Now both rifles share the same optimal time to kill and bullet damage numbers. Optimal time to kill is 1.20 seconds. Optimal kills 4 crits, body shot time to kill is 2 seconds, that equals 6 body shots, crit damage is 52, and the body damage is 37. With numbers out of the way, how does this really do in Crucible? Well, high impact frame scout rifles aren't the most competitive in the meta right now. Slow firing archetype scout and pulse rifles makes you slow down your play, so don't forget that. With this in mind, at 52 damage per headshot, all you need is 4 shots which makes the Song of Justice 6 a low damage sniper. So play for maximum range because this weapon has huge range and it's its only saving grace. So with this said, is it worthy enough to bring it to the Crucible? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure. This weapon is really nice range, it's an awesome single hit damage, but you're at a huge disadvantage and it can lead to some frustrating games. So in PvE, this has my favor, but in Crucible, I can't give it my favor. Sadly, this weapon owner performs, so if you want to challenge yourself more in the Crucible, go for it. So this wraps up this week's Is It Worthy? If you enjoyed or it helped, please like the video down below. Subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to keep up to date with my uploads. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll talk to you ladies and gents next time. Peace out.